Changing the nav point for Darpalev. That's where the Moshe's team should be. It used to be an Angaran town. There'll be landing pads and good sight lines for a safe approach. Anomaly on the sensors. Something big, possibly hostile, taking evasive action. Wait, I don't think his... Something you don't see back home. Bringing us in. None of these readings show any change. How could there not be a change? Jarl, what are you doing here, in the company of these people? Kiran, this is Pathfinder Ryder, from a long way away. Ryder, Kiran Dals, lead scientist at Darpanev. I am honored to meet you, as a representative of the Andromeda Initiative. Are all their people this formal? I don't think so. Where's the rest of the team? Ryder has experience with Remnant. We might be able to help their investigations. You haven't heard? While the team was exploring the monolith, something went terribly wrong. They were caught in some kind of Remnant stasis field, frozen in place, unresponsive. I know how to work Remnant tech. I can help you. Ryder has seen a vault, and apparently reset it. Somehow. Ocean of fish, one will have gems in its mouth. But if you think the alien can help, I'll set skepticism aside. The monolith is not far from here. See what you can do, but be careful. We don't know what triggered the stasis, and it may happen again. If you get any fungal slime on your skin, I suggest you wash it off immediately. Let's be careful around the native flora, okay, everyone? This planet's weird.
Found them. The researchers caught in the stasis field. Exactly where Kieran said they would be. If I'd get anything on the scanner. enough glyphs. Reading of the monitors and... Scat! Scatting stars! What? Who are you? How did... Pathfinder Rider, with the Andromeda Initiative. I'm... from another galaxy. Take a moment. Find your bearings. More aliens? Out of nowhere? And Jal? Do none of you remember getting frozen? Frozen? I don't understand. We were just working on the monolith and then... And then you appeared. You should return to Palev. Kieran will want to speak to you. Maybe you're right. Oh, I feel a head splitter coming on. We should make sure they return to the station. Who knows what lingering effects they might suffer from. Ryder! Roka! What are they doing out here? There's on the Tannis uniforms, Pathfinder. Korean arc?
another eidetic trigger, Sam? One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnoot on the Hyperion to investigate further. Shot to the gut. Painful. I appreciate the help back there. Name's Avidus Ricks. Sorry if my methods seem extreme. Civilian life is... trying. Ryder, human pathfinder. You former military? A Spectre. Special tactics and reconnaissance. Did the Council's dirty work for 15 years. So you're used to being above the law. Well, good thing there are no laws in Andromeda, huh? The initiative was my retirement plan. Then Natanus hit the scourge and bam, woke up here. What happened? Where's the Ark? No idea. Had to break out of my own damn stasis pod. A fall like that should have killed you. Now, those pods are sturdier than they look. But most of the Turian population is still missing. Including Mason, our Pathfinder. Sam hasn't transferred to me, so he's alive. Just don't know where. He hasn't made it back to the Nexus. Knowing Mason, he's out there looking for me. Mason dedicated his life to Andromeda. He's too stubborn to die now. We need every Pathfinder we can get. The debris and stasis pods from the Tannis are scattered across the sector. Between the two of us, we should find something. The settlers here need your help. I'm a stopgap. Mason is the solution. Here's my frequency. Call when you find something. You don't feel any different? I don't think so. Why? You weren't lying. Kiran told us everything. She even had pictures. I apologize for the indifferent welcome you received from me earlier. Don't worry about it. You had no reason to trust me. The last aliens you met were Ket. Ryder, what you have done here, your remnant understanding and your Sam should convince Ephra you're an asset. We should speak to him as soon as we can. Perhaps on the Tempest? Kiran, I've been thinking. If Ryder can use Remnant, couldn't we fix the monoliths? Stop Havarl's decline? Havarl's decline? This will take time to explain. We can discuss it further when you have time. You were saying something about the planet being in decline? 
It doesn't look like it, but Havaral is sick. It started here, uncontrolled mutations in organic life, killing some, turning others into poison. We're starting to see the same elsewhere. The planet's ecosystem is crumbling, slowly but surely. It's the monoliths. There are only two of them when there should be three. There's so much life here. Your vault must be working. In some fashion, most likely. But the monoliths are responsible for propagating the vault's instructions across the planet. With only two out of three monoliths working, the instructions are imbalanced. So life is imbalanced. We've never tried asking the sages. There could be something in their oral history. Stars, those superstitious hermits don't care about modern Angara. You know that. You saw the projections for the planet's survival. What do we have to lose? Sages? Oral histories? On Mithrather. That old remnant edifice over there. They trace their families back to a time just after the Scourge. They believe isolation will maintain the purity of the histories by preventing contamination by modern thought. Basic sense. They probably don't even understand or care that Havaral's dying. If asking your sages doesn't work, we'll be back here. So what's the harm in it? The trek up Mithrather's teeming with Remnant. Most of us don't attempt it, but maybe you could do it. Follow the Remnant River, and keep your head. I'd hate to hear something terrible happened in pursuit of some ancient legend. Is there something else? A few more questions, if that's okay. Mm, well, we won't know till we try. Can you tell me more about the Cat occupation? It's a difficult subject. I'll answer what I can. I may get emotional. Have the cat always been here? No. Some, like the Morshai, are old enough to remember the time before the cat. But I don't. Nor do my mothers. And the Archon came with them? We think so. Resistance intel on that is unclear, and few have seen him in person. And lived to tell? And lived to tell. When the cat came, why didn't you fight? They didn't give us a reason to. Until they did. Then it was too late. Perhaps you think we were weak? But the cat are ruthless. They are masters at knowing exactly when and how to strike. I get that. Believe me. What's living under the cat been like for you? Do you really want to hear about these things? They're painful. I asked, didn't I? It's like living on unstable ground. Every day brings more horrible news. I part company with someone not knowing if I'll ever see them again. When I was a boy, my father vanished from my life. One horrible day. Was he in the Resistance? No. He was a technician at a mine. He went to work and didn't come home. That happens for an Angara child somewhere every single day. Well, enough about that. I want to learn more about your species. What would you like to know? Is there a central Angaran religion? There are many variations. An almanac could give you an accurate number. But if you are a believer, the essential tenet is, after we die, we are reincarnated. We evolve to make our families strong. Born from what was before. Blessed to be better than before. Are you a believer? No. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes. I don't know if it's the same for humans. Sahuna, my true mother, is a firm believer. How many colonies do you have? On what planets? Since the Scourge, we've managed to survive on a small number of planets. What we know from before the Scourge is mostly oral history. We did have spaceflight, and the stories tell of five original colonies. 
The Angara seem so open and free with their feelings. Are we? Hmm. We're certainly not ashamed of our feelings. We're taught that feelings and beliefs should live on the outside, where they can be dealt with, honestly and openly. Don't people get hurt? Of course. Then everyone deals with it. That's the point. How long have you had electromagnetic capabilities? How do they evolve? No idea. Biology doesn't interest me, but I'm sure you can easily read up on it. That's disappointing. No biology at all? How do your eyeballs work? Okay, I get your point. Maybe I can find an Angara doctor to ask about your... whatever. Although, I used to know some facts, like the origins of our vestigial organs. Oh, yeah. Humans have a coccyx, a vestigial tail. And I have webbed toes, just a couple, but Sarah doesn't. And she had wisdom teeth, but I didn't. Now you. No idea. You studied with Moshe Sefa. Is she a teacher or a religious figure? She's many things. She's a clear thinker with deep knowledge and insight. She teaches and inspires. She is Beloved, I love her. People are willing to die for her. She sounds pretty special. She is. I hope you get to know her. Well, enough about that. I'll see you later, John. Stay strong and clear. Hey, Ryder. What's the story? How's your friend Jill doing? Good. Busy. Apparently, prepping multiple species for procreation is a lot of work. Who knew? Waiting to get it all started was killing her. Now she's being shot out of a cannon, so to speak. Regale me with some poker wisdom. <laughs> well, bluffing and reading players aside, poker is all about math. If the odds of getting the card you need are greater than the bet, Make the bet. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. Pathfinder. Hey, I was wondering, could you put your stamp on a project? It's for me and Jarl to work on. Call it diplomacy if you have to put it in a budget bucket. Greenlight that research and it's all good. What's your read on the people we're working with? The squad and crew? They're all fine. You must have opinions. Your opinion's more important. What do you think of your people? Everyone has the training, but this job is all new every day. That's probably what the Nexus is counting on. That our skills fit together to make it work. Up to us to figure it out. That's why this is our ship. So we own it. Want to make it work. 
Just wondering what you think of how I'm doing at the job. I'm committed to the initiative. Your Pathfinder. It's as simple as it gets. We'll talk later. I know it. Did you hear the news from Eos? A sorry refugee showed up at the outpost. Only a few. But that's better than none. Bradley says there's an officer in charge, Hidaria. She could know where the Ark is. We'll head to Eos and see what she knows. Good. Rumor says Sarissa Theris was on the Asari Ark. Exactly who we need. Who's she? Probably the best commando strategist alive. Her biotic shields saved hundreds at the Battle of Kirkus. Apparently, Sarissa's acting as bodyguard to the Asari Pathfinder. She's probably got a plan out of this mess already. Well, someone's a fan. No, I... I just like... Look, we need someone with her experience, that's all. I'll take someone with that much experience. Another reason to find the Ark. When you're ready to look, we can catch Hidari at Prodromos. Wouldn't mind tagging along. The discovery of Aya was just what we needed, Ryder. The Angaran scientists have been so generous in sharing their wisdom. It it's been amazing. Angaran expertise will be a tremendous help to the initiative. We were certainly hurting for it. I'm thankful the Angara were willing to risk working with us. I'm afraid not all of them are quite so friendly. Some give trust easily. From others, you have to earn it. I'm confident we'll get there. I should get back to things. Sounds good. Oh, the ship manual's useful. That leg of my workbench needed propping up. If you bothered reading it, you'd know that the Tempest is an orchestra of new tech. You can't just meddle with... I got this ship launch ready in record time, Callow. I know my stuff. And you don't have a shred of respect for other people's. Callow? Oh, Ryder. Sorry you had to hear that. Let's give this a try. Isn't his story worthless if it isn't shared? If the accounts of our past are kept hidden, they may as well not exist at all.
Nice work. I'm Ryder, Pathfinder with the Andromeda Initiative, from the Milky Way Galaxy. That does not explain how or why you are able to operate the Remnant doors. It doesn't matter. You must leave. We do not entertain guests here. Havarl's in decline. If you tell me about the lost monolith, I can help fix it, reset the vault. With Ryder's help, Havarl could be healed. Our birthplace restored. Isn't that worth something? It's lost. The memories of its location haven't been reclaimed. On Mithrava, we have accepted Haval's eventual ruin. That's a strange choice of words. What do you mean by reclaiming memories? One may occasionally remember a past life, if the conditions are right. What do you mean? We believe in reincarnation. 
an unbroken thread. There was one, long ago, who had knowledge of the third monolith. Sorai, a champion of the Angara from before the Scourge. Sorai's soul has returned and could be made to remember what it knew. But we have no contact with it. So you're saying there's some way we can make people remember their past lives? Souls retain within families. An object heirloom tied closely to that bloodline could cause memories to resurface. But it's not guaranteed. It has been known to happen on rare occasions in the past with other souls. The only known heirloom of Zarai's family rests in an area with active remnant. No one has survived the journey. But perhaps you, Zorai's soul, was freeborn in Tavos, who is now a Roka. He recently returned to Haval on a mission. A Roka? Hmm, that'll be difficult. That's why you're here, Jal. They won't like that I'm helping you. This may be a dead end, but we have to try. I will send you the relevant coordinates. We considered Haval a lost cause, but perhaps now? There is hope. You have questions? Why do you remain secluded here? The chaos brought home by the Scourge splintered our people and all but destroyed our civilization. Fear took hold. False beliefs about our predicament were seeded and began to influence Ankaran thought. In order to maintain the integrity of what they knew to be true, four families left their community to come here. We've remained ever since. Tell me more about Zorai. The histories describe him as both scholar and soldier. He traveled the stars and gained knowledge from far off places. There are even accounts of him having knowledge of the remnant builders and their machines. And the third monolith? Our legends say that Zorai sought out the monoliths after the Scourge came. He died, and it is unclear if he accomplished what he set out to do. You mentioned an heirloom, an object you think will bring Zorai's memories back? Souls return within families. Sometimes the memories of the past can be recalled by an object meaningful to that family. We do not understand why or how this happens and it has only happened on rare occasions. In all cases, the heirloom was ancient. Old Ankara tech from before the Scourge. Tell me more about your belief in reincarnation. The soul grows through many lifetimes. By seeing through different eyes, it gains wisdom. How do you grow if you don't remember? The growth of the soul is not like the growth of the mind. Memories are not required for the soul to develop. Some even argue that old memories are an unwelcome distraction. A person may become fixated on what was, and their soul consequently stagnates. I'll go. Thank you for speaking to me. Of course. Axel! You've killed men under my charge, and now you'll crown that achievement by killing me too. And you... I know your face. Why do you help these murderers? Ryder is an ally. He's already helped the scientists at Dar Palev. I know. And they should be ashamed. After all we've been through with the Ket. Tell me why you come here, so I know why I've died. The sages on Mithrava think you could remember the location of the third monolith. Because you used to know where it is. In a past life. The sages sent you. Those secretive thin brains with their scutting... They don't even care that their people are being enslaved and killed by Ket. My friends died for this? I'm very sorry. I'm just trying my best to find the third monolith and save Havarl. I have an... artifact or heirloom or something. I'm going to set it down, and I need you to take hold of it. What? And? Ryder, it's not doing anything. Wait. There are things like this in the museum on Aya. 
ancient Angaran tech. This fits over a hand. Contacts on the inside for my electric control of... <gasps> what did you do to me? Are you alright? I... know things. The underground monolith. I remember... pain. Desperation. I need you to take me there. Please. If you do this, we can save Havarl. Together. You... you're an alien. I can't trust... Then let me try to earn your trust. Please. Deep beneath the surface, but... but not far. Meet me here. These coordinates I will guide you the rest of the way. Just... let me compose myself first. My head feels split in two. Esmus said you have the soul of someone they call Zorai. Who's that? The sages believe Zorai had rare knowledge of Remnant. He was alive when the Scourge came. When I was young, they came from Mithraba to speak with my mother. I tried to convince her that I possessed Zorai's spirit. They intended to take me with them. My mother ran them off. They never tried again. Now my mind is filled with images and impressions that aren't mine. Maybe the sages were right. Maybe they were. I suppose it's possible. After all we've seen in Helios already. Knowing why it happens won't help me sort through the feelings in my head. Why do you and the rest of the Rokar hate aliens so much? With everything the Ket have done, how can we not? If the Rokar discover I helped you, they will see me as a traitor. I'm sorry for everything the Ket have done. I don't need your apologies or your sympathy. I don't know how or why, but I need to help you find the monolith. Driven to work with you and yet detesting you. My head's a mess. <sighs> It's here. I just have to. It helps if I steal my mind. I've been here before. Familiar. One, two, three. Indentations. Palm here. It worked. Wow. It was right here, and no one noticed. The rest of the remnant in the area may have prevented scans from detecting it. There were remnant machines here. Zorai was able to make them stop. How did he learn to use Remnant Tech? It's not like there's a manual. Zorai watched the Watchers. That's all I'm getting. I'm not sure what it means. The others slept, but Zorai, but I, stayed awake. Unmoving, but seeing. Learning. Sounds like the stasis field around the first monolith. Maybe Zorai was able to shake off the effects. Maybe that changed him. Without the vault, the 
planet dies, I'm close. Just one more. The sages got it wrong. Zorai was a woman. That... that was a voice. M my voice. May I have this, Pathfinder? It's yours. It's always been yours. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. Organic matter, ancient, reads as Angara. It's Zorai. She died here, before she could get to the third monolith. This... this was me. I would like to spend some time here. But not now. The third monolith can't be far. Come on. This way? Yes. This is all feeling familiar. At least I think it is. Damn. or I could not so long ago. I'm sorry, Tavos. No. There's nothing to be sorry about. She didn't complete what she set out to do, but she didn't fail. The two monoliths she reactivated kept her valve going. Without them, the planet would have died. Go on to the vault, Pathfinder. I think I'll stay here a moment. I have a lot to think about. Okay, Remnant Vault. Let's get this place up and running. Well, we turn the power on. You'll need to locate the console to activate the purification field, Pathfinder. Excellent shot! Several interface connections converge here. I will highlight the ones you need. Huh? Looks like there's a trick to this interface. Let's figure it out.
gets us a step closer. This console will activate the purification field. You may want to sweep the area. Before this place tries to kill us, you mean? Okay, get ready to run. Here it comes! Go, go! You're not happy with us! Got targets! Oh, they just keep coming! Think that's it? up. We did it. That's a jest. It can't be. That's not a jest. The vault going through a reset would explain all the readings. I can't wait to hear all about this. Come back to Palab. We've a lot to discuss. Pathfinder Rider, you have done something remarkable here today. Succeeded where Zorai failed. Esmus, what are you doing down here? Renewing old bonds. Talking to you was enlightening. I saw an alien working for us when we had given up. We have isolated ourselves for too long. Perhaps there is a balance we can find. We all need to find balance, I think. Tavos, I wasn't expecting to see you, but I'm pleasantly surprised. I've learned a lot in a short time. The Rokar wants simple solutions, but nothing is ever simple or certain, is it? I wish those that were killed could have realized this. But after everything I've seen, I have to hope that they aren't lost forever. This curious memory transfer. Reincarnation. Whatever it might be, I aim to devote resources to studying it. Maybe one day we'll find the truth buried deep within our superstitions. What do your projections say? Is Havarl going to be safe? We've already seen improvements. They're small, but statistically significant. In time, the planet will heal. There is some space here at Dar Pelev, and we'll need extra hands to monitor Havaral's situation. Will you extend an invitation to your people? We'd welcome anyone who can help. I'll pass it along. Then I'll leave you. I have some numbers to analyze. Can you believe it? For the first time in years, they excite me. Hey, Ryder. What's the story? Out with it already. What's the deal with you and Kalo? Anything I should be concerned about? Uh, twist my arm, why don't you? It, it's contrasting styles more than anything. He's a blueprint guy. I'm gears and guts. Got ink on his digits, not grease, up to his elbows. If you didn't have me to balance him out, you might be in trouble. <sighs> Heck, maybe that goes both ways.